Hey guys, Sir German here. Uh, today I'm going to be running through some things I've got in the game, which I made a video a long time ago, uh, I think about a year now, where I went through the guns that they had in game, and some other stuff, maybe a, a short while later. But I was making the, the other video of the other day about uh, some things that they have in game, uh, some secrets, and I came across these, the van the tires, and well, I'm going to reiterate now, I have no mods on, apart from the admin tools and the daisy editor, right? And these are indeed in-game. So, these aren't anything, these are builder items at the moment, but usually when they have a builder item, it's going to be something like they're working on it. Um, so it could come out in maybe a few updates and stuff. And this was an in 119. This only came out in 120 because I, I do enjoy going through the stuff that they may have added and did no mention of these at all. So these are the bus stuff, right? So let me just pop it up on the side. So these are props, but usually if you're props, like why would you go ahead and have just a singular prop? Won't you just have a whole bus? So over here are the the van stuff. So you've got the van trunk one, two. So that's this one here is a back. That's the that's the lower part of the van. Uh, that's the window part. And then you've got the door. So that is your side doors. I think that might be a sliding door, maybe. Door one, door two. So your passenger and driver. And you've got two wheels, right? And on the right here is you've got the tires. And you've got the side doors here. Um, and you've got the actual front of the bus. Now, I'm not really one to go ahead and just like bullshit stuff, but like I said, th these I've got no mods on other than the CF, ad CF admin tools, uh, the plus plus admin tools, um, B plus plus, as well as the um, the Daisy editor, and that is it. I think it's V plus plus admin tools. Um, usually you find them in Anarchy videos. But this is all I've got on. But yeah, these are 100% in the original files. They are under the builder items, which gives me the best idea that these are 100% coming. Because if it, there was no other actual, you know, bus, you know, stuff to put in, which gives me an impression these are being worked on. Now, personally, I was exactly one for the thumper when it came out, especially after I saw how badly used it was and then I saw these and now the RPG and the law I used them before in a video when I was just showcasing the weapons literally in that over there but then I noticed well yeah there, there could be something worse than the thumper and it, it's these you've got the RPG and you've got the law now I can't you can't exactly take and pick these up without crashing your game. And yeah, so I'm not even going to attempt to press F on these just because I'm not going to risk it. But these are in the game as well with different things. And you can tell that they've obviously, Behemoth is indeed working on it because it has the dollar unit dollar, right? And it's the same with this one. So these show that they're not working items to a good degree and obviously down here RPG 7 has my systems well now if I show you what else they have in and I even searched up C4 to see if they've got any C4 in the files so at least nothing they just really just you know all these but if I type in RPG 7 you've got the HE ammunition you've got the AP ammunition currently they both got the same this variant that's on screen right now would be the AP version because the, the high explosive fragmentation one is more of a flat top and a shrapnel in it and they've got the build ammunition here so I've put down the, the normal version there this is the base version you can't touch that and the builder version you can't touch that this one is what would they would technically be working but because it's got the unit dollar it's not going to and if I type in the M72, that's not going to be working that way. And you see there's some other stuff here as well, like the rack, the 
you got the and mags are in the game for it. Uh, you've got the dummy optics for the thumper. So that's not going to show there, but it's having war. So, here you are. You've got the build ammunition, you've got to build the wall, you've got the ammo there. Now, you see, these don't work as you see there, it's buggy. It does go into 2D model. Now, the last time I looked at the grenade launchers in this game was when the M79 was first teased, right? Because the Daisy development team put on their little snippet of what the sound would be. Now, everyone thought it was going to be the GP25. Unfortunately, the GP25 is no longer in the files, from what I can tell. Because when I searched it up earlier, well, yeah, GP25 gone. If I even type, typed in GL, for example. There's a lot here, and unfortunately none of these here are the GP25 grenade launcher. Apart from this one here, which is from a Grolzer, and that is a GP30 receiver, which is the lower half. Now, not too sure if anything else here, obviously. Uh, yeah, there you have it then, lower receiver. Now, when I looked at it, it was a bit strange, because... To have this on a firearm, you're going to have to slide it on, hence the rail there, which will allow a picatinny. Well, it is a slide onto a picatinny. Now, I would. This does indeed fire the 40mm grenades that the um, M79 uses, but the thing is, would they bring it actually into DayZ? Because the M79 is being used more like a CQB um, free kill machine. And having this in would just amplify that. And how would you exactly swap to the UGL? Yeah, there's many questions there, Daisy. Um, usually with a 320, you'll have a side-mounted sight as well, uh, where you could uh, adjust for 50, 100, 150, 200, 250 meters. This doesn't have that. So I'm thinking it's going to be more used like the, if you ever played Call of Duty 4 or Modern Warfare 2, the old ones, where you just go ahead and switch to the side and fire it. So, yeah, something like that.